Yo, what is going on you guys? Bastion YJ here and we are on our path guys. We are on a continuation of our Valiant Smashers deck analysis, deck breakdown, deck list, combo, test hand, everything that you guys need to know for the three archetypes coming out of Valiant Smashers. We got Valmonica, we got Memento, and we got of course Centurion. Centurion, you guys just saw yesterday. If you guys have not seen it, we'll leave some type of card up here at some point in the videos. You guys go ahead and make sure you check that out. If you guys are interested in Centurion, definitely the most meta viable deck in the entire strategy however there are two more coming out i want to make sure you guys are aware how the deck plays what the deck does before balance smashers does come out in just a little bit over about a week or so so without further ado guys make sure you guys leave a like subscribe for more if you guys are interested in seeing the memento and centurion as well and let's get right into it so guys just like we did with the centurion video we're going to be analyzing each and every single card reading over it seeing exactly what it does each card coming out for the valmonica strategy starting with demon valmonica so we're going to look at each of them we're going to take a look at a uh, quick deck list for you guys give you guys a template to work off of see how the deck can potentially be played here in the tcg in about inside a week and a half two weeks and then you'll also get a quick test hand slash combo video at the very end of the video so you guys can go ahead and see more or less how the deck should be playing out but let's go ahead and get into it so first we got demon val monica so something that's pretty interesting about this deck is that this resolves around two main deck pendulum monsters one being demon and one being angela or angelo i should say pretty pretty cool cards actually they both are monkey boards in a sense to where all it takes is a discard i believe and then you get to go ahead and set up both pendulum scales which is really cool three and a five so you can summon any level four you want from your hand or pendulum pendulum effect guys while you have a fairy card in your other pendulum zone each time you take effect damage place one resonance counter on this card monsters you control lose 100 monster opponent controls lose 100 attack for each resonance counter on cards you control so that means both this and angelo so it's really key to make sure you are keeping track of your resonance counters guys it also helps out when you're coming out with your extra deck monsters as well so keep an eye out for that in just a little bit monster effect if this card is in your hand you can discard one other card to place this card and angelo val monica from your deck in your pendulum zones during the main phase if this card is normal or special summon this turn you can banish one val monica normal spell trap from your graveyard this effect becomes that card's damage inflicting effect when that card is activated, you can only use each effect of Demonica, uh, Demon uh, <laughs> once per turn. So basically what I'm trying to get at is here guys, what's really cool is that all of these spell traps that these guys have, at least all the spells for sure, are going to have two effects. One when you gain life points and one when you take damage. So having cards that fluctuate your life here and there just a little bit can go very, very much a long way. I've considered uh, potentially playing this with something like a Life Twins, which uh, increases your life points slightly by like 500 or 200, whatever it is. So that could be something you want to consider. You could uh, also play this maybe with like Cosmos and, you know, anything that would play with life, your own life points is something that would be really interesting. But we're going to be checking out the Perform Mage build again here in just a little bit. That is the Moan. Now for the Angelo, very, very similar card, but... Pendulum effect, while you have a Fiend monster card in your other Pendulum zone, doesn't necessarily have to be Demone. Each time you gain life, place one Resonance counter on this card. So a similar effect, you're still gaining Resonance counters each time you gain life instead of lose life. Once per turn, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can immediately after this effect resolves, so Link summon one Valmonica monster. So that's pretty cool because we do have two Valmonica Link monsters to choose from, which are actually both really, really good. Uh, so monster effect, if this card is in your hand, yada, 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 discard and put, play both, place both in the Pendulum scales. Uh, during the main phase, if this card is normal special summon, you can banish one of Monica's spell trap from your graveyard. This effect becomes that card's life point gain effect when this card is activated. So you can go ahead and take advantage of both depending on which one you guys want to prefer. Uh, honestly, they're, they're really depending on the situation, both the gain life or the take life really do come in, come in handy. It really depends on what is better for your current situation. So that is nice because you have multiple different additional options that could potentially be their own separate cards, both in the same card depending on what you are are doing so that's something i really really like and uh, to see in this deck it gives you a lot of versatility and i'm a fan of it funny enough though that's gonna be it for our main deck mantras guys just those two guys next for our link we have divine oddity valmonica zabufara i'm pretty sure that's how you say that so it is a link one so we just need one effect monster it doesn't even need to be a valmonica monster which i love because with very limited actual main deck monsters just those two cards of course goes good both are going to be played at three you're going to play six cards in the main deck for just that but it gives you a versatility to use additional cards in your combo which i really really like 
So this card cannot be Link Summoned unless you have a Fiend Monster card with three or more Residence Counters in your Pendulum Zone. So very, very important that you guys have to ramp up your own Residence Counters, which means turn one, you're going to have to take a lot of life or gain a lot of life or both. So that is something to keep in mind moving forward. You are going to need a Fiend Monster with three or more Residence Counters. It doesn't count them combined. It has to be one of them individual. Uh, so you can only special summon Divine Oddity Sabufra once per turn, which is perfectly fine. If this card would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can remove three resonance counters from cards in your pendulum zone instead. It protects itself. But let me just go ahead and point out real fast, it is a 2500 attack point Link 1, which is probably the beefiest Link 1 I've, I ever remember seeing. So that's pretty that's pretty nutty already, except for Char Charlemagne, so that's something, or King, Emperor, Charles, whatever the Link 1 is, I think it's 3000 attack. Uh, but it is a light link monster fiend, so it does have that, you know, those additional things going for it. But anyway, once per turn, quick effect, you can target one of your Valmonica normal spells, traps that is banished, or in your graveyard, this card becomes as effect when that card is activated. So that is something to keep in mind, you are going to be able to gain, for example, for the trap effects, you get the trap effect when you activate the trap, and activate this guy's effect and gain that trap effect again, so that's something that's really, really cool. So I give you additional forms of interruption during your opponent's turn, which obviously is the overall goal of the deck. The other link monster we have, Odd Deity of Valmonica. Monica Guaralume. I'm pretty sure that's how to say that, but this deck has some funky names. Let's go ahead. Just please forgive me for that. So it's a Dark Fairy Link. Again, Link 1, 2500 attack, still beefy. This is probably the more impressive one out of the two I, after reading both of them realistically. So it cannot be Link Summon, yada yada. Fairy Monster card with three or more residence counters in your Pendulum Zone. So this one you would need a Fairy instead of a Fiend. So that's something to keep in mind, of course. You can only special summons uh, this guy once per turn. That's fine. If this card is Link Summon, you can target Monster your opponent controls up to the number of residence counters on cards in your Pendulum Zones. Destroy them. You can remove three residence counters from your card in Pendulum Zone. This card can make a second and third attack during each Battle Faces turn. So clearly this is the far more aggressive card uh, so I do like that of course now I don't think this this uh, okay, it says if this card is link summon which we did read previously that you can actually link summon as well during your opponent's turn in the event you can go ahead and you know uh, special summon guys during your opponent's turn as well so that is really really good you get to go ahead and pretty much blow up the field because you're gonna have it's very very easy to gain and lose life in this deck especially the way you're playing it with a per uh, four mage so you are able to gain a lot of resonance counters which means you're going to be destroying a lot of cards guys on your opponent's side of the field and then with this if you're able to attack three times with this thing a second and third attack which it's kind of funny it's worded that way uh it's just pretty nutty so this card is absolutely really really busted overall as a card any art type i think would be super super uh uh, lucky to get a card like this. this is nuts absolutely crazy next up for the field spell guys field spell is pretty good too uh, so when this card resolves add one about monica monster from your deck to your hands so already it is a free searcher on activation of course we are going to want that immediately uh, if this if the third resonance counter is placed on a card in your pendulum zone you can target one monster your opponent controls and take control of it until the end phase but it cannot declare an attack you can only use this effect of angelic blah 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 <laughs> demonic selector Monica once per turn and you can only activate one harder once per turn so that is something to keep in mind it's a harder once per turn to activate things like that but it's cool i mean it's essentially it's a free rota on activation even if it's just one one search gives you both pendulum scales so you're really good as far as that goes so it's what i do like about it of course it is very very consistent with that uh, which you are going to need if you're going to be playing this deck uh, next up, we, guys, we have the Balmonic, uh, Balmonica Intonare. Uh, so I think it's kind of cool. Is is like she's trying to lift a margarita glass. I don't know. <laughs> so you can apply one of these effects. Uh, your opponent's choice. If you do not have a Balmonica card in your Pendulum Zone, so your opponent does get to choose the effect in the event you don't have that. But again, it's pretty easy to go ahead and make sure you have this, guys. The deck is overall relatively consistent, so you know you're good to go. So you can gain 500 life points, then your opponent chooses one monster in your graveyard that can be special summoned for you to special summon. Uh, or you take 500 life points, then you can add a level 4 monster from your graveyard to your hand. You have the additional option for you. Now any level 4 that you're, you're, uh, any monster your opponent summons from your graveyard is going to be a level 4 or a link monster potentially. Or a synchro depending on what we you know go from here, but I'll show you guys a little bit more about that in the deck list. So that is a really strong card already. Uh, probably my favorite one is going to be the Stella, uh, or 
Celta, uh, Valmonica Celta, which is an amazing spell card for the strategy. So basically what this guy does is you can apply one of these effects to your opponent's choice if you don't have a Monica card, which I do like that restriction, because if not, it'd be absolutely super busted. Uh, so you can gain 500 life points and then place one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck and draw two cards. So you're basically, you're letting your opponent, if they want to choose this, you're pretty much taking a free pot of greed, because whatever put you're putting back, you don't need. So that's something to keep in mind. But if you take Valmonica Life Points, you can add one Valmonica Spell Trap from your deck to your hand. Any Valmonica Spell Trap, obviously crazy good. Um, I believe there's one more Spell Trap that's actually even uh, potentially better, if not you know equally as good. So we have Valmonica Versare, I almost want to say Versace, but you can activate one of these effects, yada yada yada, your opponent's choosing. Uh, you can gain 500 life points to excavate cards from your top of your deck until you excavate a Valmonica card, and if you do, add it to your hand, also shuffle the rest back into the deck, eh, which is an interesting effect, but I much prefer the second one when you can take 100 damage, then you can send one Valmonica card from your deck to the graveyard except Valmonica uh, Verace. So that is something to keep in mind, you can go ahead and start feeding your graveyard a little bit, which a lot of these cards, they can, uh, like you read with your Angelo and your Divine Oddity, things like that, they can actually copy the spell trap effects that are in your graveyard, so that's really, really cool, that gives you that additional option in order to play it. So uh, obviously, synergy, right, is what we like to see. Uh, next up for the traps, guys, we got two of them. We got Valmonica, the Guiding Rhythm. Pretty cool artwork, just gonna go ahead and say that right off the bat. It looks like a beautiful angel, beside the point. Uh, so if you control a Valmonica monster card, you can activate one of these effects, or if you control a Valmonica link monster, you can apply both in sequence. So you can gain 500 life points and destroy one spell trap card in the field. That's all right, I mean, it's trap, not really the best effect. Uh, or you take 500 life points, then return one monster in the field to the hand. Again, for being a trap card, I really wish this card would be a little bit better as far as that goes, but that's where the other one comes into play. So we also have the last card in the arch hat. We have Valmonica the, of the Selecting Melody. Uh, if you control a Valmonica monster card, you can apply one of these effects, or if you control a Valmonica link monster, apply both in sequence. Gain 500 life points. Also, your opponent cannot target Valmonica monster cards you control with card effects for the rest of the turn or take 500 life points, then you can negate the effects of one effect monster your opponent controls at the end of the turn. So what I really like to do is I like to use the effect to take 500 life points if I don't have uh, something on the field. But if I do have the link monster, this is a double imperm essentially because this will activate the effect, negate a monster effect, right? Go to the graveyard and you can activate the divine deity effect to copy that same effect and then negate another uh, effect monster your opponent control so really really cool interactions there definitely guys and that is actually going to be it for every single support card that we received for the valmonica strategy a really interesting strategy none to say the less but without further ado guys let's get right into that deck list all right here we are guys we have our valmonica deck list for you guys i'm gonna go ahead and go by card by card uh for you guys who can't you know obviously see too far into the screen or whatever it might be pixelated so first off i want to say there's a few different ways i believe this deck can potentially be played you can i'm sure they can find a way to play this with punks you can take a lot of damage and you gain a lot of resonance counters um i'm not sure it'd be too synergistic because sidekicks and fairies things like that fiends and so i know that that plays a factor any deck that modulates life points in general it's just super crazy your own life points not your opponent so that is something to keep in mind but you want to start off with three of the angelo and three of the demone very very easy to go ahead and get these guys out on the field at the same time of course um, i do like to play the agito the keldo the Kelbeck and the Medora. So what do these do? They get your perform mages into the graveyard in the event you need to go ahead and do that. Also, it puts your spells and traps in the graveyard so you can actually copy the effects of them once you get your guys going, your full engine going. So it's never really a bad thing and you can always shuffle back what you didn't want to have in the graveyard. So I actually really, really like the strategy overall. Uh, next for the perform mages, we have three damage juggler, two of the trick clown, and one flame eater. I actually very much consider taking out the flame eater and just putting in a third uh, trick clown. Actually, let me go ahead and do that right now because during testing, the flame eater doesn't really come up. Plus, it does lock you into perform mage monsters uh, from your hand. So, I, it, it's just a lot of minor things here and there that I just don't like about it. I'd rather play the three trick clown with the three perform mage juggler. And essentially, what it's going to allow you to do is search this you and then trick clown's going to special summon itself whenever sent to the graveyard for free. So, you get a free level four on board and you're taking life points, which means you get a resonance counter. So, really, really amazing synergy right there. Of course, it is also a low force you can also pendulum summon this guy out for multiple summons in the same turn then we have in three copies of assault synchron where does Assault synchron do special summon itself 
by burning you for, I believe it's 700 damage, right? Is it 700? Yeah, you take 700 damage and you're fine. Sephiroth as well, you take 400 damage, but you are getting a free level 4 special summon. And then Herald, uh, Diviner of the Herald, to go ahead and send your uh, your Agito or your Kelbic, whichever one you need, into the grave. So you go ahead and get your whole engine going. Uh, not too complicated there guys. Next going on to the spells, pay 3 copies of the field spell along with the terraform because it does search on activation and you need to make sure you get your engine going so you're essentially playing 10 copies of a starter for your deck in order to go ahead and get your Valmonica engine going so that's obviously really good. And you got three copies of your uh, Celta. Of course, you want to make sure you are able to maximize on the best ones. And three copies of the Versari. Only one copy of the Intonare. In, in <laughs> uh, because I just don't see it really being the best one. Because again, you're giving your opponent a lot of choice. Or you're really just adding uh, level force from your grave to your hand. Is it the best? Not necessarily. I believe the other two gain you just a lot more advantage in that way, getting uh, more specific cards to your hand. So yeah, that's why I just want to go ahead and play the one of that. For the traps, you can play both of these, uh, but I choose primarily to go into the Vamonica V Selecting Melody. However, this does come up here and there, so you know I'll give it a little bit of wiggle room. It can it can stay in the deck. Uh, for the last few traps, I play one Mana Dome Reframing or uh, Mana DM Reframing. This, this card is nuts because this deck can absolutely make the uh, Visas on Ritara, like extremely easily. So you're always going to have, or not always, you're always have a good position to get a free Omni Gate on your board, so you know, why not? And then three copies of Emperor to round off the 40 card main deck. Now for the extra deck, we play one copy of the Guiarme and two copy of the Sabufra, of course. One IP, one SP, Celine Dion, because we are playing a whole bunch of spellcasters. We got the Access Code Talker, we got Minerva, of course, rank 4 engine, we got Baguski, we got the Sky Crisis, and we got the Double A Zeus. Why not? You do play a few Synchros, I mean, uh, Exes in here. And for the Synchro packages, I mean, the, these four are absolutely busted. You got your one Manadium Trisukta and one Recess Armitara, because this will special summon back the Excel, the Excel Synchro. Uh, the Assault Synchron in order to special summon it back and then you synchro with this and that to go into the Visa Samritara. Visa Samritara is going to go ahead and get you your reframing. Boom, Omni Negate. There you go, you're welcome. You can also go a different route and go with Axel into Barone and then you have an Omni Gate that way as well. Or if you're nice enough, you can go ahead and do both. It really depends on your hand, guys. But that's going to be it for the deck list, guys. 40 card deck list, 15 card in the extra, of course. And uh, I'm not going to have a side for this. Again, I just wanted you guys to have a more or less template of how the deck can be played. I'm not saying that's going to be the best way to go ahead and play this deck. Of course, they're going to be better, uh, probably more efficient ways to go ahead and play is to burn yourself, gain life, things like that. Or we'll make a little bit of different support here down the line. So we'll see what comes up. I believe we have another set coming out a early next year. Phantom Nightmare, which I may have some support for this. I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. But honestly, really, really cool deck overall. Now I'm going to show you guys a quick test hand beta so you guys can see exactly what the deck can really do. All right, guys. So we are here with our test hand. And this hand is absolutely busted. So what we are going to be able to do is we can actually activate the Angelo. I'm not sure. I don't think that's how we start. Oh, we do. Okay, cool. So we're actually going to go ahead and activate the Angelo Valmonica, pitching the Zephros, the Elite, to set up our Pendulum Scales. Now, Zephros is perfectly fine for it to go to the graveyard because what are we going to do? We're going to be able to special summon this guy back out anyway. So it is not a loss. It is just a rearrangement of resources. And you're getting your full Pendulum scale. So it's just, essentially it is technically like a plus one with Pendulum Scales now. So we're going to go ahead and keep it going, guys. We're going to activate the Cell Effect. We're going to take 500 to add the Valmonica Fuel Spell from Adector Hand. So actually playing 13 starters because you can, of course, add it to your hand. So really, really good, of course. And then we do gain the one counter, Resonance Counter already. Then we're going to activate the Fuel Spell to let us add a Valmonica Monster. So we're going to be able to add a Valmonica, uh, Demone Valmonica. So what's next? We're going to actually go ahead and Normal Summon, activate the effect. And that's going to allow us to banish the Celta in our graveyard take 500 damage we're going to gain a resonance counter here in a second but it lets us also search out the um the trap card the Valmonica uh, selecting melody <laughs> it's a little small on my screen guys uh let's go ahead so go ahead and keep play so of course we're going to go ahead and get our resonance counter and then we're going to activate the assault sinker effect the special summon itself for free and we are going to gain our third resonance counter. So all of our 
uh, deity place on the dark side, fiend side are alive now. So I think the best course of action here, we haven't pendulum summoned yet, is to get our Omni Negate secured. So we're gonna go ahead and get the Mana Dome Reframing. And we already have three forms of interruption right here already in our opening hand. We search this one, we search this one. Even if this wasn't what it was, you can go ahead and, well, depending on what it is, it could be if it's an Imperm, that's great. If it's another Monica card, that's fantastic. But even if it's a Performage, you can actually go ahead and link summon into it. And what you can do is you can actually go ahead and make IP. And after you're using the, the Omni Negate, you make IP activate effect, go into SP, and you're good to go from there. We're actually going to go ahead and pendulum summon out the Valmonica. We're going to summon out our Divine Oddity Valmonica Sabuffera, which is going to be able to copy any one of these two that go to the grave after activation. So here's what you have. So you have a Valmonica card, so you can actually go ahead and if you have a Valmonica Link Monster, you're actually getting both of these effects while also gaining Resonance Counter. So you can gain 500 life points. Uh, target uh, your opponent cannot target by monica cards you control with card effects this turn obviously really good in the event your opponent wants to cosmic cyclone or twin twister or whatever your pendulum scales if you do anything to this then it's fine because you can just go ahead and get another one uh then you're also going to get the uh take 500 and oh wait this is the wrong one we're also going to be able to take 100 500 and return a monster in a field to the hand so we're going to be able to bounce we got a free two free bounces potentially we got a two free uh, potential imperms essentially uh we also get the uh, destroy spells trap so we can we have imperm we have uh, what's it called MSTs we got compulsor evacuation device potentially two of them as well So we got so many ways to go ahead and interact with our opponent It's actually ridiculous and we can actually go ahead and protect all of our stuff from getting uh, from getting targeted Which is crazy already and we still have the Omni gate. So we have uh, Essentially one two three four uh, five six uh, seven forms of interruption just with this board already. We did use up our entire hand, so that is something I do have as a concern with the deck, is that it requires a lot of resources to really be able to put up a menacing board, because this board is actually really, really crazy to go ahead and have to go up against, because you don't know what they're going to be selecting to go ahead and use against you. So that is something to keep in mind moving forward, guys, but honestly, this is a pretty cool deck. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be picking it up after Valiant Smashers. It'd probably be really inexpensive, so I might, you know, Know, why not? I might, I might as well mess around with it. But is there a different way that you guys are playing the Van Monica strategy? What do you, how do you guys feel about this deck overall? Is it doo doo garbage or is it salvageable depending on what you guys are playing? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let's talk about it. Let's learn together, guys. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys like, subscribe. We're doing Memento tomorrow, guys. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe, buy the merch, and I'll see you guys in the next one.